Okay, another example for round robin dito na meron pa rin tayong idle time. Okay, so same given. So, check natin kung paano yung implementation. Okay? So, lagay ulit tayo ng guide. Okay, so lilitan ko lang yung sulat ko para magkasya. Given quantum natin is 2. Medyo maliit. Ibig sabihin, mas marami yung occurrence. Okay. So, this will be time 0. So, again, earliest arrival time natin is 3. So, i-idle na agad natin to. I don't need to quantum yung idle time. Okay lang yan. Kasi, wala namang pumapasok na process. So, this will be 3. Okay. So, pinakamaagang darating dito, P4. So, yan. So, given quantum natin is 2. So, nandito si P4. So, mag i to at time 5. Now, at time 5, wala namang darating kasi time 8 pa yung next. So, si P4 natin may matitirang 1. Okay? Bakit again? Given quantum kasi natin is 2. Dahil si P4 is wala namang uh, darating na bago. Yung P4 natin, ilalagay natin sa likod ulit ni P4 kasi may matitira pa siyang 1 quantum. Pasok ulit natin si P4 dito kasi wala pa namang iba. So, this will be 6. So, next one, 0 na to, slash out ko na to. Now, this will be idle time again. Yung time 8. Okay, pero at time 8, slash out ko na rin to, we have here P2. So, ayan, meron na tayong P2 ngayon. So, dahil siya lang, yun nandito. So, you have your P2 ngayon. And then, 2 quantums, so this will be, 2. Okay? This will end at time 10. May dumating ba? Meron. Ayun. Si P1. Okay? Si P1 natin, papapasukin muna natin. Okay? So, ayan. So, again, dahil may natira pa kay P2, si P2 punta sa dulo. Slash out ko na to kasi pumasok na yun dito. Next, sabi sa chart, so si P1 yung kasunod. Okay? So, you have here uh, two quantum, so this will be three. Okay? So, mag e ng time 12. Now, meron bang dumating ang time 12? Ayun, meron uli. Si P3. So, papasok muna si P3 bago natin ilipat si P1 sa dulo. Slash out na to. Okay? Next one, papasok na ngayon si P2 kasi siya yung nandun na next. So, lagyan na natin siya. And then, this will end at time 14. At time 14, wala namang ibang papasok kasi time 15 pa. Si P2, uh, ubus na yung burst time. So, this will be 0. Slash out na natin to. And then, tapos na si P2. Now, no need to move kasi ubus na. And then, sabi sa chart, yung kasunod natin is P3. So, lagyan natin dito si P3. Okay. Current quantum uh, burst time niya is 4. So, matatapos to time 16. Okay. Now, next one, dito, this will be 2 na lang. Okay. So, after that, uh, may darating na bagong process. Ayan, si P5. Ilalagay muna natin dito si P5. Again, yung P3 na hindi pa ubos, lagay mo sa dulo. So, you have your P3. So, slash out na natin to. Now, Dumating na lahat, so palit-palit na lang sila dito sa uh, CPU. Okay, so you have your P1. And then, 3 quantums pa siya, mag i ng time 18. So this will be 1. Hindi pa tapos, lagi natin sa dulo. And then cancel out. Next one, so you have P5. P5 natin is 5. So, this will be 3. Okay. So, yan. And then, time 20. So, dahil hindi pa ubos to, lagay natin sa dulo. You have P5. Next one, so you have P3. 2 quantum. So, this will be uh, time 22. And then, this will be 0. Cancel out. No need to move. Kasi 0 na. 
next one, you have P1. So, ayan si P1. And then, dahil 1 na lang yan, this will end at time 23. So, cancel out. And then, you have here P5. Lagi ulit natin. You have 3 pa. So, in this case, may matitira pang 1. So, stop tayo ng time 25. And then, lagi ulit natin si P5 dito kasi hindi pa ubos. Lastly, si P5 buli yung papasok kasi siya na lang. And then, this will end at time 26. So, same goes. Compute natin yung CPU utilization. In this case, sum numbers time again. So, you have 21 over 26. Ayun. So, times 100. You have here 80 point. So, you have 80.77. Ayan. Alright, so next one. So, end time, turn around, and then you have waiting. So, compute natin sila. Alright, so for our end time, so P5, that will be 26. And then, you have 23 for P1. P3, you have 22. P2, ayan, so you have here 14, and then P4, you have here 6. Okay, so end time minus arrival, so this will be 13, you have here 6, 10, 3, and then you have 11. Okay, so turnaround minus burst time, so this will be 8. Again, sa original natin may na minus ah. So, this will be 2, you have 6, you have 0, and then you have here uh, 6. Alright, so let's try to compute for the average turnaround and average waiting time. Alright, so sum again. Yan. So, we have 13 plus 6 plus 10. So, this will be 43 over 5. So, this will be 8.60. Alright, so next one for the waiting time. You have here 22. Alright, 22 over 5. So, this will be... 4.4 4. Okay, so this will be our round robin. Okay, so after this one So dalawan lang yung natitira natin ng algorithm So that will be multi-level queue and multi-level feedback queue Okay